So now in this video, we're going to look at the LM317 used as a current source. So normally, you can adjust the uh, voltage out. Now we're going to set a uh, current. So it's not the typical use for it, but it is a use for it. And what it does, it actually sets a voltage across the resistor from the output to the adjust. As you can see right there, it's going to set 1.25 volts. And if it's a 100 ohm resistor, we just do Ohm's law. Take the voltage divided by the uh, resistance, you get the current in amps, and that's the same as 12.5 milliamps. So that'll be the current from the adjust pin there to uh, ground. And uh, that's even as the input voltage changes. So I should have uh, uh, deleted that, erase that. I have it from the last video, but uh, it'll work 12 volts. Uh, just fine. So, in any case, I'll grab uh, the component and you can see the uh, pin layout right there. So left pin is the adjust pin that you see right there and that's where we're going to have that white jumper. We'll look at that. So that's going to be on one side. The other side is going to be the in pin. That's the right pin. And then output is in the middle. So we're going to turn it uh, this way and I have the uh, orange jumper there. That is the in pin. The out is on its own row right now. Actually, let's move this over a little bit right there. And uh, you can see that the white jumper is to the adjust. So last video, it was at the out. We had the out, but we have to put it at the adjust now. So we're going to grab a 100 ohm resistor right there. And that's going to go from the out to the adjust. So that's where the current going. The, Adjust is just really looking at the voltage at it, whereas the out has current flowing through it. And so, if we put this jumper directly to out without a load, we basically have a short circuit. So, in any case, there we go. The current throughout will have to go through that resistor to look at the voltage and then come to a load. So right now, I have the power supply set to five volts and I will grab the uh, multimeter. We can look at the voltage at the rail too, might as well. And uh, it's a good idea to check voltages at all the places. There you can see the voltage there. Now let's go across the resistor and, uh, oh, it's not gonna show up because we do not have a load right now and I don't see a jumper. So we will just get to measuring the uh, current. So we're gonna set that to milliamps. And now we'll see that we have 10 or at 12, I mean, 0.5 milliamps of current right there. So it looks like it's going to be 12.6. Uh, That's what I was getting uh, earlier. So not exactly 12.5, but uh, pretty close to spot on. So again, that was with uh, 5 volts and no load. So what we're going to do is, you can zoom in closer, grab. A red LED color does not matter although the green might block a little too much voltage but uh, there you can see we still have the same current green LEDs block a little bit more voltage and as you'll see as we add another LED now the current went down that's because these are dropping voltage that needs more voltage from the supply than it's going to provide to uh, everything and so we're losing too much voltage. So what we're gonna do is set this to that 12 volts that I originally put on there and we'll be able to light two or three more LEDs. So first we can look at the one that we got on there. So you do have to have enough voltage from the supply. So it's still 12.6 even though we made a lot of changes. And again, remember LEDs have to go in the right way. If uh, you wired everything right but they're not lighting up, good chance they are put in backwards. So green LEDs are just naturally brighter and uh, it's uh, really standing out in person that it's brighter. But uh, my camera doesn't look like there's as big of a difference. So there we go. So yeah, we lost some voltage now. So we can go up a lot of volts with this uh, LM317. I think maybe uh, 40 volts, somewhere around there it outputs up to a 37 so 
So we're nowhere near. This power supply can only go to 30. Anyway, so again, 12.6 right there. And we can add another one just for good measure. I think that was in the right way. And there you can see, current's uh, holding steady. Actually, you couldn't see. Sorry about that. Right there, current's holding steady, 12.6. And uh, we'll kind of center that a little bit more. So, in any case, that's it for the current source. Really simple if you have a voltage regulator. That's because there's two points where it's regulating the voltage. And if you put a resistance on there, that sets the voltage across the resistance. And again, Ohm's law gives you the current. So the current going through there doesn't go into adjust. It has to go to uh, ground through a load. As long as you got enough supply voltage. Pretty straightforward. So hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, and all that. Make sure you donate to Patreon if you can. That would help out a ton. I will see you in the next video.